Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys back to uh, Let's Play Lords of Magic. So, in the first part, I introduced you guys a little bit to the uh, basics of this game. I showed you what happens if you try to enter a great temple prematurely, which, uh, yeah, that wasn't very fun. So the, uh, the early game of Lords of Magic, it it starts out very slow, but it rapidly escalates uh, once you start getting a few more levels and start getting a larger army. Right now we just need to build up uh, some resources so we can actually go and recruit some mercenaries to help us take down this uh, Great Temple. And once we take the Great Temple, things are going to start happening and they're going to start happening very fast. Order be brave. But yeah, the early game of Lords of Magic is... Uh, I like it. Uh, it's peaceful and calm. Um, so we got a level 3 outpost here. I don't think we can take that. At level 1, though, we can probably take without healing up. Order be brave. So, let's see, what's, uh, what are we facing over here? Ooh, we're facing some, uh, some flame berserkers. These are the infantry of the fire faction, actually. They're actually really nasty. Uh, I'm surprised this is a level 1 building. This should be a level 2 at the very least. Um, but yeah, I'll... These are goblin archers, I think? Yeah, so we got six mana left. This one costs two. I think we can do a leadership and then a righteous, uh... Slow scroll speed really irks me. We await groups. Order be praised. So, let's buff this guy. We await your orders. We should probably do something to take out these uh, goblin archers as well. There we go. And we're gonna do the defensive formation. Now, flame berserkers, they like to berserk. You can see they have a lot of attack. They have ten attack, two defense. They die very quickly, but they do a lot of damage. We await your orders. Alright, that's one goblin archer down. Let's shoot down this guy. This guy will die really quickly. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I think we should focus on the flame berserkers, actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nice, nice. They go down very fast. I think I'm actually gonna do a defensive formation up to this guy. Never mind, we actually killed him. Whew. Oh my god, that was a tough level 1-1. One, one. Jesus Christ, I didn't think it'd be that strong. Jesus. Alright, our footmen are about to become level 3. When they become level 3, they become very tanky. So that's nice. It's gonna take us a long time for our lord to level up, though. Love this music, it's so nice. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow, wow. I love the sounds in this game, I love the aesthetics of this game. This game is just so magical, it really is. It's a little bit, you can see it. It's a little bit clunky though, uh, wait, scrolls and shit, it's it's not optimized, but it, I'm just surprised I can run this on my computer because it's a really big pain to run old school games, because they were made for completely different systems, for completely different drivers, I mean, uh, for a very, like, I, I don't think I've played this game in over 15 years because it just wouldn't run on my computers. I'm really surprised it's running on Windows 10, I'm really surprised actually. You gotta admit, like, the code for this game is just completely different compared to what uh, the games are made of today. But yeah, it's probably the fact that I grew up with this game, but I'm actually really interested in hearing your opinions on it. Like, do you understand why I think it's so magical? Like, is it just nostalgia? Or is there is there something magical about this game, though, with the sounds, the aesthetics? It's just... I really oh, like it. I really great. like it. Anyway, so... Do we dare attack a level 3 small outpost? I don't think so. I think we're gonna get horribly owned. So I think we'll, we'll actually go over here and see. Another level 1. You just gotta, you just gotta clear these level 1 uh, outposts. Until you start getting strong enough. Alright, well that is... Uh, <laughs> I think we're just gonna do 3 righteous bolts on this guy until he dies. There we go. We'll uh, shoot one here as well. So I do like the uh, I do like playing as a mage. It's really nice to have these missiles. Let's shoot this imp. Goblins die so fast. It's so fantastic. There we go. Ah, nice. Our footmen are now level three, and we have 82 gold right now. We. we what we need is a magic crystal cavern, though. So yeah, 12 attack, 7 defense. The footmen become so beefy when they level up. Alright, so... I do wonder... I remember that they had more sounds back in the day. I remember, like, them having different... I feel like the units are saying the same thing all the time, and I do think that there was an option at some point, maybe that it's not in a newer version, to, like, turn on additional dialogue. 
Because he's only saying order be brave. He used to say like five different things. He used to say like, hello, what can I do for you? What are you saying? Like he used to have so many lines of dialogue, but he's only saying this. Which is a little bit weird, but hey. I don't mind. So, how are the other civilizations doing? <laughs> civilizations, I'm just treating this like a game of Civ now. Um, diplomatic relations can change. Uh, also, is the speed the same? No, it's not. Do you have to do this manually every time? That's weird. Uh, I do like to uh, set the game speed up to 28 and the combat speed up to 23. I think it just flows a lot more easily then. You can turn it up really fast if you want to. But at some point it becomes impossible to actually be strategical. Alright, let's uh, let's check out over here, so shall we? Another level 1 outposts. Sounds good to me. Yes, yes, let's clear yes, out all of the yes, low-level outposts. Yes, yes, I'm I am coming. Kiribos. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> you don't want the wizard to fight. You definitely do not want the wizard to fight. All right, let's see if we can uh, shoot down some archers. There we go. That's two archers dealt with immediately. Wow, they die so quickly. <laughs> Uh, I think we're starting to get ready for high-level uh, buildings pretty soon. All right, let's rest up a little bit. Let's check over here. Now, you may have noticed that there's some statues here. Statues give you fame when you capture them. Same like a brewery gives you uh, ale, or a gold mine gives you crystals. You capture a statue. I'm pretty sure this statue is like level five or six. You will get um, you get five fame per turn. That's very good for your follower account. Now, the followers, of course. Ooh, are we gonna do it? Okay, we're gonna do it. Uh, followers come depending on your fame. I never really did calculate the uh, math behind it, but it's pretty significant. All right, so we actually have a hero here. That's really cool. All right. So are they archers? They are indeed archers. Okay, so let's do a leadership, and uh, that's a, that's a fight. That's the fire warrior hero right there. All right, righteous cause. Let's buff up our footman. We can probably shoot a uh, righteous Fire. bolt on this archer. Send these other Move. footmen forward. There we go. I think we'll actually just stay here and defend. Let them come to us, essentially. Okay, they, they, sometimes your archers do miss. I don't know what this is dependent upon. There we go. That guy is dead. Let's see, our, our footmen are doing... Wow! Holy shit, our footmen are fucking savages. Look at them tearing the shit up right here. And we got a ring of anything, so you do get some loot every now and then. Let's go check out what this ring does. Any mage can wear this ring and get one resource per level, randomly selected each turn. When you use this ring, will have a random effect on targeted enemies. Stun targeted unit, minus four to attack, minus four to armor, or four points of damage. This can be done twice per day. That's pretty cool. Order be so yeah, uh, you can equip this ring. That gives you a spell that allows you to cast it. I do believe items have charges. After a while, um, after a while, you do tend to. Uh, why am I getting four crystals per day? What? Yeah, that has to be a bug. What? Really? Any mage can wear this ring and get plus one resource per- Oh my god, that's ridiculous! Oh, I see. So it's one resource per level, and now it's ale. I see, that's ridiculously awesome, and it even shows in your income. I did not know, like, I'm- Oh, crap. That's a hero. Alright, so a death hero just showed up. We can uh, go parley with him, see how what he thinks about us. So, I'm a stranger to the land of order, and we cannot stand your people. Will Lord Gandalf have you fight or parley with the court of the Death Lord? So, if we attack him now, we will piss off Balkov. Balkov is pretty far away. Uh, we're not neighbors to death. Um, we can parley with him, and we can trade. So, of course, he doesn't like us. He has aversion, which means that he, he doesn't really give a shit. Um, you can plea, you can ask them for resources, you can give them shit, you can demand or you can threaten them. You can uh, trade units, um, you can trade spells. Now, of course, we don't know if they have any spells yet. So, for example, I can 
tray. I can tr I can learn. I can offer to teach him Falcon's Eye. I can trade artifacts, but you can only trade artifacts and spells. Like you don't. You can only trade things you have on you. So you have to be. You have to have the wizard present to actually teach the spells. But I think we are actually going to attack him because I don't really give a shit about death. Order death is raised. like you're not going to be able to maintain a diplom diplom diplomatic relations with the Lord of Death. He's actually he's actually not running. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. I was pretty sure he was going to run away. Let's use the ring on him. So that did something. I don't know what. So there is a command you can do with your archers, which is called aimed missile. It takes a lot longer. It takes about twice or three times as long, but your uh, your arrows will pierce the fence. So it's really good to use against really tough targets such as this guy. Although I'm pretty sure we'll kill him pretty quickly. Yeah, things die fast in this game, regardless of them being tanky or not. And heroes gives a lot of experience. Now we pissed off death big time right now. So if we go to death. Host We've gone from aversion to hostility. So, uh, they used to not give a shit about us, now they hate us. However, Balkov is pretty far away. He is actually, I think, on the other side of Yurak. So, I am not really afraid of death. Um, I think if we go... I think below us are Earth. I know that over here are Air. And I think Chaos are over here. So, and death is like far, far, far down south. I'm not really worried about them. Like, it's not like Balka's gonna raise an army and come after me. I mean, he's probably gonna come to her eventually. I mean, he, he starts going on a rampage pretty quickly. He starts killing his neighbors. Ooh. Yeah. So this happens from time to time. Marauding parties will start uh, to take over your shits. They'll steal your unit or buildings. This is why, as the game progresses on, it can be a good idea. To start uh, having some units guard your buildings so this shit doesn't happen. But yeah, I, I, I've never gotten this ring before. There are still artifacts. Like, after playing this game for like hundreds of hours, there are still new things that I discover about it. That's what's so fantastic. I've never seen this ring before. Um, I've never seen this ring before. I, didn't, I did not get it a single time when I played. Maybe I did, but just forgot about it. I don't know. But it's really cool how, how you get resources depending on your level. Anyway, so when a marauding party takes over your building, it turns grey and you have to go recapture it. It's pretty simple, unless they decide to stick around. And they, I think they just went into this outpost? Yeah, they did. Alright, so... Uh, again, let's clear them out. In fact, I think I am just gonna blast them with righteous bolts. Crossbows, fire! Crossbows, fire! Let's move! Here we go. Let them have it, lads. And don't you worry, I won't just be fighting goblins for the entire game. The enemies we do start to ramp up a lot. Let them have crossbows, but in the start, you do fight mostly goblins and orcs. There we go. Down they go. I think my hero will actually level up now. Yup. Level 3 crossbowman and a level 5 wizard. So, we're actually looking at... Possibly looking at taking the Great Temple now. I think I'm gonna try. So, with the, with the money that I have right now, I could hire quite a few footmen. Or knights, even. Knights are, like, if you look at their attack values, knights are slightly stronger, but they have less hit points. Cavalry in this game, for whatever reason, they have less hit points compared to infantry. So if I am to hire some knights, I gotta make sure I don't fuck up on Mang's math and uh, fail to, 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 to pay them. But yeah, you, do, you will see slight graphical glitches in this game from time to time. Ooh, look, they actually got skeletons. So you think you're strong enough to take us on? We will enjoy sucking the marrow from your bones. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is hilarious. It's kind of hilarious how they're gonna suck the marrow out of my bones, yet they're traveling with skeletons. <laughs> That's kind of, kind of ironic, actually. Oh, I do love the wizard. And each faction has many different spells, by the way. You haven't even begun to see a fraction of the spells in this game. You have to research them. I'll show you how to do that later when we actually liberate the temple. What is that crossbowman doing? Jesus. Um, 
There we go. You research spells by entering the library. Like to direct our research? Here are the attack spells, here are the defense spells, here are the overland spells, here are the spells that everyone gets. So yeah, each faction has their own spells. There are, I think, over a hundred different spells in this game. Yeah, they did decide to call it Lords of Magic. It would be kind of silly if there weren't any magic here. So, the way you, you get like spells is you send a wizard into the library, you ask him to research a spell. Depending on his level, for each level he is, he research one day, so if you send a level 5 wizard in, you can eventually divide this by 5, and that's the amount of turns it takes. Uh, as your library can get upgraded, you can get 2 or even like 3 wizards researching a spell at a time, which makes it go by very quickly. Order. You can also have your lord research a spell. You can actually put your wizard lord into the library and have him research it, which is kind of hilarious. Anyway. I think I am going to hire myself some knights, maybe even a paladin. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's start with a paladin. Let's see. Um, so I plan to lose these guys. I think I'm, I, I could probably even hire some... We have many fine warriors here. I could probably even hire... Um, Many that you'll see could, could get myself a stag, actually. Stags are pretty cool. They cost magic crystals, but they're really durable. Alright, so... We got... I think we'll get two more knights. There we go. This might be overkill, but the Great Temple is pretty hard to take, so... Alright, we'll have to deal with this upkeep for two turns. But that is more than worth it, in my opinion. I will probably lose most of these, and and those and and the mercenaries that I do not lose, I will probably I will probably let go. There's another marauding party. I'm not really gonna bother with them right now. All right, so here we are. This is a pretty large army. Sadly, didn't reach the Great Temple, so we'll have to spend another turn of income. But hey, that's how how that's how it works. So I think this should be enough. Not sure if it will. Okay, there we go. Our gold mine just got taken over. All right, you stand before the great temple of order, venerated sanctum of the Archon people. Once a place of serenity, it is now under uh, now one of utter despair. For now, it has been overrun by wicked and loathsome creatures. Cleanse this holy place of its vile usurpers, and you will be a legend among the Archons who will honor you with a mighty citadel. All right. So now we got a pretty large army of knights and a stag, and what I'll do actually is I'll start with leadership, because that's a pretty good one. I don't know if they'll, they'll attack me or not, we'll have to see. No, they're actually not. I think it depends on your army size, actually. Oh, what was that? Holy shit. Yeah, okay, now they're, they're, they will attack me. And he's casting spells on me right now. Okay, so I think what we'll do... Oh, we got some knights here as well. Of course we do. Alright. I don't know, slow speed, the scroll orders, speed suddenly got like move, super crossbow. slow. Alright. And. Of course, we'll uh, buff our brave. paladin as well. There we go. And I think we'll actually use the ring of anything on some of these guys. We can use it three times. I think that stunned him. Yeah, I did. What are your orders, sire? For glory. All right, here we go, guys. What it's about to get real. Charge. What are your orders? It's about to get real. Order be praised. All right, here they come. We have a pretty fucking big army. All right, he's still stunned. I think I stunned the same guy twice, actually. Oh my god, the trolls are tearing through our knights. Come on, we need some more help over here. Come on. Holy shit, are we getting wrecked? Are we getting fucking wrecked still? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, our stag is dying. Our paladin is down. Our paladin is down. Come on, archers. It looks like- oh my god, we are getting fucking owned. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Our mercenaries are getting slaughtered. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Fuck, my footman. My fucking footman died. 
Ready? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my yeah. god, they're so close to dying. They're so close to dying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit. Oh no, Gandalf has to fight now. This is really bad. Yeah, we got we got on. Only barely though. I think we can do this differently. Okay. Let's try that shit again. I think I used the same ring on the same guy twice as well. That was kind of stupid. Alright, so... First first things first, let's get our crossbowmen into position. And we should get our foot... I think we should get our footmen into the fray as well. Yeah, the necromancer is casting spells, so let's... Alright, let's get the leadership going. And, uh, yeah, the, the music changes depending on how the fight goes. Which is kind of funny, I like that. Alright, let's target the stag with a buff. And then I think we should, uh, let's see, who are the most scary guys? We have wolf riders, we have, I think the wolf riders are really scary, actually. The panthers are also really scary. Let's, uh, use the ring of anything on them. So now we stun that guy. And let's debuff this troll as well. Okay. Silence. Time to flank. Oh, glory. What are your charge? Um, I don't. I don't think we should do any aim shots. But we should definitely attack the guys in the middle. All right, let's go. Come on. This is a bit of a clusterfuck when you have this of a large an army. All right, let's go. It, it seems to go much better now because now we actually got the footmen into the fray. All right, go paladin. Now there is a command called rally troops. I have no idea what this does. It makes a sound. I think it makes your troops a little bit stronger for a very short duration, but I actually don't know. Wow, this this time it went much better. Holy shit. Oh my god. Well, would you look at that? Okay, time to uh time to wreck the necromancer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Great Temple. So, oops, my bad. Uh, seems like uh, Camtasia had to be restarted, but we're back again now. So uh, the music will probably resume when we uh, hit close. All right, so magnific magnificent, you have liberated the Great Temple. In your honor, the people have constructed a stronghold at their capital, Accord. While this Great Temple remains free, it will attract followers to the stronghold to serve you. You can then assign them to work, producing valuable resources. You can also install champions in the Mage Tower, Barracks and Thieves Guild, where they will impart their experience to new recruits. Mages can now research new spells in the library, and if you upgrade the Magic Tower to level 3, you can summon the Warrior Spirit as this Great Temple. So yeah. Order be brave. Um, so, um, that actually went much better than I thought. And we definitely want to uh, dismiss these mercenaries right now, because they cost a lot of upkeep. And there's no way we can afford it. I think we'll keep the stag, though. The stag is kind of cool. So, when you, uh, you when you get the Great Temple, what happens is... What's this? Oh, we still have the Paladin. You get two heroes. And you get them... They, they have no upkeep, or they have very low upkeep. So you get a Ranger Lord, and you get a Paladin. And uh, they will join your cause. So now you have two heroes instead of three. So, and we also get the Amulet of Defense, which can be given to any thief, and he will gain plus one armor and increased stealth. Now, we'll, I'll I'll talk a little bit more about thieves in the next part, because this part is coming up to a uh, to an end right now. So we're going to be continuing in the next part. But we got a Paladin. Paladins are really good in combat. Well, you just saw one, uh, but that was a mercenary. There are no difference in between stats between mercenaries and trained heroes, other than the fact that they have different upkeep. So we can keep these guys around, and they'll serve us pretty well. So, um, here at the Great Temple, when you have a level 3 magic, uh, when you have a level 3 uh, wizard tower, you can summon the Warrior Spirit, which is an ultimate creature, essentially. But it's not the biggest ultimate creature. The biggest ult ultimate creature is Lancelot of the Lake, the legendary Golden Knight. Uh, there are a lot of cool things you can do. You can also build the Cathedral of Knighthood, but that, that is Order way, way into the late game. That will not be an issue right now. For now, let's take a look at our new capital. So we have 10 followers. 
and we can place these followers um, basically to work in the capital to gain resources. It's very simple. You place them in the market, you can place up to eight when you have level one, and you get, gain eight gold per turn. It's all relatively simple. Now, what I like to do is I like to put them to work in the magistrate to get fame, because fame is important, because the more fame you have, the more followers you get, and you want to get followers fast. So I like to focus heavily on fame in the early game, so I get plenty of followers, essentially. I know I say essentially a lot. Essentially is going to be my new actually for this Let's Play, I'm pretty sure. So this is kind of where the game really starts. Uh, this is where you... Uh, and uh, there you go. Uh, it's the start of a new week. So uh, we get four followers, but because we have a lot of fame, we get seven followers. That's because we have a lot. I just don't know how this calculation works, but the more fame you have, the more followers you get. So now we have 11 followers. And at the start of every week, we get new followers. Kind of like how you get new creatures in Heroes of Mind and Magic. So you kind of want to focus on resources first. With order, you want to focus first on fame, and then you want to focus on ale, and then you want to focus on gold. And once you have enough, uh, once you have enough resources, you can start training units. And uh, yeah, there's a lot more to talk about, but I'll think I think I'll get into that in the next part because this one has been long enough already. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We have liberated the Great Temple, and we can now really start building an army and exploring the world of Yurok. And we gotta we gotta kill those guys, or else they're gonna raise our mage tower, and that's not very nice. <laughs> So, please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part, ladies and gentlemen. It does help out the channel ever so much. I hope you guys are enjoying Lords of Magic so far. I certainly am enjoying playing it. At any rate, my name is Benangs, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.